looking at the new Chanel number no. one foundation. If you would like to know if this $70 foundation is worth it, then just keep watching. I love doing product review videos for you and I also love trying out new makeup. So if that is your jam, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified of when I post new content because I'm always posting new content. You won't want to miss out. And also make sure to like this video if you found that it was helpful. Please let me know if you have tried this foundation or any of Chanel's foundations. I'm kind of new to the Chanel wor world and definitely have not tried the foundation. So let me know if you have tried any of the products. If you like any of the products, let me know down in the comments below. And without further ado, let's hop right into the video. I was just recording for nine minutes. I was only recording my voice and not my video. Huh. Can't believe I wasn't recording because I said so much. I just briefly, first of all, I briefly described this foundation saying that I do feel like it is more of a skincare foundation. This is probably like the fourth or fifth foundation that I've tried in 2022. And two of the foundations I've tried prior to this were kind of also doing the same thing. The NARS Skin Reflecting Foundation definitely claims to do that. It says that it's like 70% skincare. And it sounds like the Chanel is kind of like this too because in the description it says that after one month people's skin looks smoother. They did like a clinical study of a handful of women. A lot of them said their skin did look smoother. So this seems like a skincare product that's going to kind of improve the quality of your skin over time. And then it also feels like it's kind of catered to a more mature audience because it talks about giving you a giving you a youthful glow, making your skin look more plump. When you get older, you start to lose some plumpness in your skin. So it does feel like it is catered to a more mature audience. And then lastly, it comes in 20 shades, so it seems like not a huge shade range, but I am noticing that it feels like um, one of the shades can kind of, I feel like you could probably, like one shade could suit maybe like three different skin tones because when I first applied it on my cheek, it came off a little light, but then as I started blending it into my skin, it seems like it's working out. It doesn't look too light right now, so I don't know. Some people might not like it, but I would still give it a try because even though you don't find your like exact match, it could possibly still work for you. This is also one of the pricier foundations I've tried. Pat McGrath, I believe, is the most expensive foundation I've tried. So yeah, we are hoping. If it does actually improve the quality of your skin over time, then I would say that's definitely worth it. So this is supposed to be a buildable foundation and have a luminous finish. So we're definitely gonna build upon it and see if that is true. It contains red camellia oil. I hear camellia oil is really good for helping keep your skin looking youthful. It does seem like it's going to be a moisturizing pro uh, product because it contains moisturizing ingredients. Like I said, it does feel more like a skincare foundation because even they how they tell you to apply it is more like how you would apply skincare. So what I did is I did one pump on the back of my hand. I already pumped out one pump and it was pretty big and this is the amount I have left over after spreading it on my face I'm gonna go ahead and um, build it up but yeah this is just one pump the instructions say to do like three pumps on the back of your hand and then do it that way I feel like that's a little too much so this is what the bottle looks like I actually really like it it's a nice size and it comes with a pump which I love it also contains one fluid ounce uh, or 30 milliliters it seems like most foundations come in that amount so let's go ahead and finish up this face I just did one very thin layer and then I'm going in with a second layer and it said to apply it using your t-zone area so like do your t-zone and then spread it out into the center of your face I already did that but I'm gonna do my regular method of just focusing on the cheek first and then blending it outward and this formula is as you can see it's like a little white here like a little lighter than my skin tone but it starts to work out it's not like this it's not uh, too harsh of a difference it honestly just feels like a very good skincare that I'm applying on my face with a little bit of hydrate actually there's quite a bit of hydration it's not there's like a tiny hint of like a oiliness sensation but um a little slightly tacky but not horrible like i said it just feels like i'm putting good skincare 
and hopefully the hydration um, won't be too noticeable when you go in with another layer wow I love the way this looks I also love foundations that you're able to apply with your hands Okay, so this, again, is one full pump, and I'm using that on one side of my face. So, safe to say I can use two pumps, um, but I'm honestly okay with just using one pump for the entire face, because right now I'm just building it up. And I don't want to go too crazy, because I don't want to get oily towards the end of the day. My skin is more on the oily side lately, it's supposed to be dry because it's winter time, but I don't know what's going on. It's definitely been like normal oily, so um, I need to be careful with like how much product I put on. So, off first impression, I am really liking it. I love the texture. It just it feels smooth, um, slightly tacky, but that's okay. Hopefully, you know it won't be so tacky as the day goes by. Of course, we're gonna do a full day's wear test. I really like it. It looks like my skin. I think if you are someone who is trying to cover up texture in your skin, I don't know how you're going to like this, but if you have more like blemishes, like dark spots, I think you could still uh, get away with this, especially maybe if you build upon it. Yeah. On first impression, I am liking it. I really do like the way it feels on my skin as well. So I'm going to go in on this side with a beauty sponge, although I don't feel like I need to. I think it looks perfect just using the fingers, but let's just see what the beauty sponge will give us. I'm just going to do, I'll show you what a full pump looks like. That's one pump. As you can see, it's pretty liquidy, but not like insanely liquidy. And then I'm just gonna dab my beauty sponge in there and glue it down. Okay, that's one layer. I actually really do like that. Also looks a little bit more hydrated on this side, but of course it's probably because this beauty sponge is damp. I, I don't know, I actually really like that. It's kind of like a tinted moisturizer look. Oh, okay, no wonder. I used most of the product with the beauty sponge. Um, <clears throat> no wonder why it looks, it looks pretty much the same, I would say. This side just looks a little bit more hydrated, but again, it's probably because the beauty sponge is damp. Yeah. So as of now, this is definitely looking like a tinted moisturizer. The beauty sponge is a lot faster in terms of applying it. So honestly, I would go both routes. I see myself using it with my fingers or a beauty sponge. Kind of just depends on whether or not I want to get my fingers dirty. Yeah, I really like it, especially if you have dry skin. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go in with a second layer because I do wanna see um, how buildable this is. So I think, let's see. Okay, again, I'm gonna do one full pump on the back of my hand. Second layer. Ooh, definitely is starting to feel a lot heavier not enjoying that too much I love how well it covers the under eye
Yeah, that is too much. The shine is so intense. This is definitely a luminous foundation. Okay, I'm not even gonna finish with the rest of the pump because it's already feeling way too heavy on my skin and yeah. But as you can see, it did smooth it out my complexion a little bit kind of starting to look more like a foundation not quite still more of like a tinted moisturizer the little like medium coverage but yeah the way it feels it just feels heavy so I don't really like it I would honestly recommend using this foundation um, with just one layer and kind of looking at it as more of like a tinted moisturizer and then I'm just gonna use the rest of that pump on this side of my face see how I did get a shade too light like you can even kind of tell up here a little bit where it's like a little bit lighter um, than my complexion but it doesn't look bad right Okay, yeah, I definitely think I should have stuck with just one layer because now I feel like I'm just way too shiny. So probably gonna have to set this with the powder. Um, all right, we're gonna come back in towards the end of the day and I will let you know how this foundation works. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I am forgetting to record I just record my voice, but I don't record the video. Uh, so I'm gonna have to say this whole thing over again. Um, it is about seven hours later. No, it pretty much is exactly seven hours later. This is what my face is looking like. However, I just blotted a little bit, but I will say though, even though I did um, use my powder over my face, it still looks the same. This foundation is extremely luminous. So the shine that you see on my cheeks, my forehead, and under here. Um, this is a little bit of highlight as well. That is just like the luminosity and the radiance coming out of the foundation. It's tricking me and making me think that I am shiny on camera, but really that's just the luminosity. When I touch it, it doesn't feel oily. It feels identical to how I first put it on. It's a little bit tacky, um, but not not really oily, even around my nose area. So I think in terms of oil control, it does a fairly decent job. I did um, have to blot like about three hours later because I filmed again and I was just like way too shiny on camera. So I did have to go touch up with my Gucci powder and it kind of settled it a little bit. But as you can see that radi like that luminosity is still coming out. Like I'll even powder right now. Yeah, so I don't know exactly how this foundation would work if you're filming on a DSLR camera like this because it's just that radiance really starts to come off like shine. It doesn't look that good when you're filming like this, but if you're taking other pictures or just like out and about, it shouldn't be a worry. But still, after three hours, I did start to feel a little bit oily, but then honestly, I didn't really feel like I needed to touch up after that. It Kind of, strangely, it feels a little oily, but it doesn't, when I touch it, it's not. Overall, I am happy with this foundation. I do think it kind of gives you this like skin-like radiant finish. It just makes your skin look really hydrated. I personally feel like this could mimic how my skin looks. I really like the way it looks. Uh, in the mirror I would say my only con is I'm not a huge fan of how it feels on my face you can feel it and you do start to feel a little bit of that oiliness like I said my skin is a little bit more on the oily side normal to oily so perhaps no I know for sure this foundation would be really good for those who have dry skin and maybe if I had normal skin I wouldn't be as bothered with the way that it feels but I would say I do wish that it was more of a lightweight feeling 
or I didn't feel it at all. I think all in all, if you are interested in getting a foundation that has a lot of luminosity, a lot of radiance, then you will really like this foundation. I definitely like it, I'm very happy with it, and I wouldn't mind using this on a daily basis to try and see if it actually does improve the quality of my skin. I think the shade is perfect. I knew in the beginning it was going to kind of deepen up a little bit. Honestly, what I've been seeing with like probably 95% of my foundations is that it always deepens up like a little bit like probably anywhere from like five to ten percent it deepens up i think if you're around that range it's okay because honestly it seems like most of the foundations are just doing that so again if you cannot find your shade range in this foundation um like the exact one i'm pretty sure you can get away with something kind of as close to your skin tone as possible i'm pretty much running out of things to say so i'm just gonna wrap it up wrap it up here if you have any questions make sure to leave them down in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in another one bye hi i just wanted to quickly pop in to mention this so i was just sitting on my couch realizing that this is not a very pleasant feel on my face i do feel like i want to wash it off just because it's like it feels a little tacky i could feel the oiliness um so with that said, I wish I had only went with just a lighter layer than what I did in the beginning. That's probably all that I needed. Um, also, I do not recommend this for anyone who has oily skin, but if you have normal skin to dry skin, you're probably going to really like this. I love the way it looks, so I'm still going to wear it. Next time, I'm just going to do a smaller layer. If that doesn't work and I still get oily, then I probably will just bust this out during the winter time or whenever my skin is fully dry. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. You could be my honeybee, can you?